I am at a very, shh, I gotta be quiet. I'm at, I'm at a cemetery. Uh, I am at the person who had the largest funeral in the city of Philadelphia's history. I am at his grave. That person uh, was a former police commissioner. He was a former uh, mayor and a former talk radio host. Uh, he was uh, a Republican and a Democrat. He was mayor as a Democrat, uh, but he was a Republican most of his life. And then at the end of his life, he became a Republican again to run against Mayor Good for mayor. And of course, I'm talking about Frank Rizzo. And uh, I hope that comes out right. Frank Rizzo, this is his plot at Holy Sepulcher Cemetery. Um, Frank was mayor from 1971 to about 1980. Uh, when he won the election, uh, when he won the election, the mayor at the time just retired and gave Mr. Rizzo his, uh, the job. He said, you just be mayor. And the reporters were like, is this legal? Can you even do this? And the mayor at the time said, well, I'm retiring, so I don't care. Uh, he was the police commissioner beforehand. And a lot of people in the African-American community do not like Frank Rizzo. He was, uh, he was in charge of a police force that was uh, accused of police brutality all the time, especially in the black communities. Um, when he ran for mayor, 22 out of 23 African-American polling stations went for his opponent. He, um, uh, when he ran for re-election in 1975, he, uh, he said that uh, he's gonna make Attila the Hun look like a faggot. And I don't even know what that means, but yeah, that's what he said after he won the election. And uh, there was many things. Uh, there was a, I'm going to be going to move headquarters sometime this week, this week or next week. So I'll talk about that a little bit later. But uh, there was a lot of people who said uh, Wilson Good in 1975 sued the city of Philadelphia because there was uh, a lot of... Uh, African Americans and minorities who were not getting promoted in the police force or the fire commission or the fire department, which his brother was the fire commissioner until like 1984, from when he was mayor till 1984. So this is Mayor Rizzo. He ran for mayor uh, four or five times. He um, he tried to make it a law where you could be mayor for more than two consecutive terms, but that didn't pass. There was a recall against his election in 1976 because he raised taxes after he promised he wouldn't, but uh, that failed, but it did leave a blemish on his legacy. Um, and he ran for mayor in 1991 uh, against, he was running as a Republican, and while he was running for mayor, he had a massive heart attack and died. Uh, he, he uh, I think he died June 16th, 1991. It could be June or July 16th. Um, he uh, had the largest funeral in the city of Philadelphia. From Center City, Philadelphia to Cheltenham, there was a, it's, it's, it has to be 15 miles. And there was a procession that had people standing on the streets four or five deep just to pay their respects or just to catch a glimpse of them. Very controversial figure. Uh, some loved him. Some hate him. There was a statue. There's a statue of him at right across the street from City Hall, and there's also a mural of him at the Italian Market. So that's it. That's Frank Rizzo, the most controversial mayor I know. And no, he did not make any crank phone calls.